The 4x4 Portal Beloved Ones During April we are going to continue having important stabilizing energies to help us in our journey of constant integration, recalibration, and purification. We are already immersed in the energies of the 4x4 Portal, which this year comes with important frequencies. To help us stabilize our Hare Silver Core Complex, which as you know is the vertical cord in our energetic body that is born out of our navel and that connects us to our soul and monad. There are important advancements achieved as well in the planetary fabrics of time and space, as it is time now to continue working on their restoration. However, I will focus now only on the stabilization of our body as the guides invited me to do. For all who are now working with their vertical channel activation and stabilization, clearing, protecting, and building the connection to our soul is vital to be able to be balanced and above all, in communion with our God Self, allowing the divine energy to come through and receiving authentic guidance from our God Source and Guides, rather than from the astral and the many traps we find there. For we all are meant to be connected to God Source as a part of us too, without intermediaries. We just need to be willing to do the inner work it takes to realign and activate our body main channels. Clearing blockages in this area, often caused by self-created beliefs, trauma, soul disconnection, or manipulation, is one of the most important issues to address when we are on this conscious journey. Otherwise, we will not be able to align with our soul and mission, feeling disconnected and confused about our personal journey. My guides invite us to work with the fortification and stabilization of the main four Tantian, Dantian, energy centers in our body, with a special focus on our heart and the clearing of our astral body at this time. The Dantian, as you know, is located in four main energetic parts of our body, although many only name three of them. The first one is the navel, when the Hera line is situated three fingers below, in the internal third energetic layer of our navel that is born in two directions, anchoring us in the earth and in the heavens. When we are ready to build the connection, this is where our life force is processed and transformed into energy, allowing us to do our daily activities. The second Dantian energetic center is located in the base of our heart chakra, which also comprehends the solar plexus area. As both are pivotal energetic centers in our bodies, this also includes the thymus as a part of our heart chakra complex or our soul portal as I call our fifth dimensional center, where we start building our connection to our soul and monad, moving into further stages when this first stage is achieved, and linking our human self to with the threefold flame. Thirdly, the upper dantian, situated on our sixth dimensional channel or third eye, and hence the pineal gland, where our vision is extended to the non-physical planes, and where we start descending spiritual energy into our physical body. The last and fourth energetic center is located four feet above the head, and it is the one connecting us with the cosmic monad, and thus the threefold flame of creation. This is where we heal, embody the silver orb, and align our hair cord to be able to be fully connected to our soul, monad, and the threefold flame that gave birth to all realigning with our mother-father masculine feminine principles to become whole and unify. This alignment is vital and one of the basic or initial steps towards personal healing and stabilization for us to embody our mission of planetary assistance, which together with coherence are the most important tasks for us to work with at this time. Coherence is essential to be in communion with our soul's will and mission as practicing all these exercises without the proper integrity will reinforce misalignments. When we act in unison with our authentic sovereign self, thoughts, and feelings, we start to be energetically supported, receiving assistance, guidance, clarity, 
and all the resources we need for our journey. For we are now choosing to align to the divine forces of creation, rather than diversifying our energy, being connected to a higher intelligence that acts through us in creating a human path filled with love, joy, and abundant blessings. Every thought, feeling, and act determines your alignment with benevolent or non-benevolent forces. For all is a choice and your connections and manifestations will depend on that choice. May your choices be aligned with your highest God's will, beloved ones, within infinite love. Natalia Alba, next message, the 12D Creators, what you can expect in April 2024. We are here for you. We are the Creators. We are a 12th dimensional collective of non-physical beings, and we are here to help. We are here to tell you about the month of April 2024 and what you can expect from the supporting energies. You can expect these energies to come from not only your sun, but also your earth, and from all of your cosmic, galactic friends and family members. We are all banding together to help humankind and the energies of April will be there to support you in raising your vibration, raising your level of consciousness, and taking the next step on the ladder of your ascension. This means that you can grow in leaps and bounds throughout the month of April, especially if you are aware of the opportunities to do so. The opportunities will show up in a variety of ways, and you will be given many opportunities to go to the next level of your consciousness. You will be continuously niched towards the thoughts, the words, and the behaviors that will bring you into a higher vibrational state. And anything that is taking you in the opposite direction will stick out more like a sore thumb to you. Being awake and aware, as you are, will assist you in reversing any tendency that you have to move in the lower vibrational direction. You have a tendency to notice more often when you are in a lower vibrational place because it feels so off to you. You are more likely to detect a thought or a belief that doesn't serve you because you are so accustomed to moving in the right direction now. You are so awake and continue to become more and more aware of when you are moving towards the light, towards your fifth dimensional higher self. What all of this means for you in your physical day-to-day -day lives is that you, will also be able to make giant steps forward in projects that you have, goals that you have set for yourselves, businesses that you have wanted to start, books that you have wanted to write. You're going to get the nudges from your gods, from the fairy realm, from your higher selves, from so many different places and helpers that you will notice that the muses are around. And they are in fact a joyous group who want to co-create with you who want to give you those inspired thoughts, those ideas that you can and want to act upon. And so, April is a month for you to expect great things, to expect that which you have been waiting for and to feel supported every step along the way, as we wish you to feel all the time. But because you know about this element of the month of April, now you can open up more and you can see yourselves more moving in the direction that you truly want to go in this lifetime of ascension. Very good. We are the creators, and we love you very much. Channel, Daniel Scranton, 